Hello everyone, KV here, and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby Star Allies, the ultimate choice. On the last episode, we kind of got ourselves acquainted with the ultimate choice, how it works, how it has different characters you can use, how it has different difficulties that you can pursue, and we did the first two difficulties, the very bottom easiest ones. We did a sweet breeze and a mild stroll. But I think we're going to go for a little something spicier today. Maybe not super spicy, but you know, just, just that, just that right balance. So what ability to choose today? Or we could choose a friend. Yeah, you know what, Taranza, you're- no, 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 Raccoon, I don't have anything with you guys, come on. That's ridiculous. Alright, I'm gonna give you guys one other friend, so, uh... You cannot have Kirby be a CPU player, I'm sorry. Shush, <laughs> shush, 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 Uh, let's give you guys, uh, who, who looks good in yellow? Nasp. <laughs> who looks good in yellow? Nasp. Nasp looks good in any color. Alright, a zesty expedition. It's only one more boss compared to the mild stroll we did last time. But, maybe it'll be a little more challenging. We'll see. We only have two characters with us as well. I haven't done this difficulty. <laughs> I think I did the bottom ones and I went, I'm done. Alright, so, on the last episode, we talked about how there's this rest area, and in the very early difficulties, it gave you all maximum tomatoes, even though you didn't need them? Because the first one is just four bosses, and it was six bosses. Uh, it's gone down to two pet brews now, and a mild stroll, it was one pet brew. But again, only seven bosses. I think we got this. I think we got this, Nest. Let's do it. For those that are going to ask, to my knowledge, and again, let's check again, there's no new boss bios for these characters, for these bosses, at least in these early difficulties. There might be later, but for right now, we're fine. We don't need to worry about it too much. And already, we're making we're making some quick work out of him. Yeah, I forgot the whose uh, tornado attack's actually the most powerful <laughs> thing you can do. Riku and Kain are considered to be some of the more powerful uh, friends that you can have with you, so when it gets to those hard difficulties and you want to choose wisely, I would recommend putting them on your team. Also because I just like Riku and Kain. <laughs> shush, shush, shush! Rick roll! I had to. How's it going, sire? Would you like to see a fire? Or are you on the wire with someone that you desire? I hope you don't mind my pyre. Because I don't know how to use a liar. And I don't appreciate your mire. Also, I have a bag full of uh, pliers. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, just, just just keep doing that, that's fine, that's fine. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Nice thing about Rikku and Kain is that their block is actually makes them invulnerable, so same goes for Gooey as well, because they're all in the bag. Making them some of the easier characters to utilize as your main characters when you're playing this mode. Oh, the little line he does is kind of cute. Alright, five more, and we have six healing items. Hey, Ness, do you want a pet brew? Here you go. <gasps> shush, 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 shush. Alright, time for that Return to Dreamland boss music, as I correctly figured out during the last episode. There we go. Yeah, Kynes, uh, Fischl Flapple is actually really good. I'm sure it has an official name. Let's, let's just go give it the official name, right? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, Fish Flop. You know what? I was actually pretty dang close. <laughs> shush, shush. I just add some extra syllables onto it. Official Flopple sounds better, in my opinion. But my opinion is also probably dumb, so... <laughs> At least in this case. I don't know. Kind of depends on your miles may vary and all that. Alright, by the Daria, and then we're gonna have Bugsy...
official flapple. <laughs> we did it, Ness. We official flappled. Hey, Ness, want a pet brew? All right, so Mad Knight's actually not the final boss of this one. So it's weird because on Mild Stroll, Pon and Con, you would fight before Mad Knight, but I think we're going to fight them after Mad Knight, which is really bizarre. Makes more sense uh, contextually, because you do fight them after Mad Knight in the story, but weird in terms of this mode. Rick, roll. <laughs> yeah, Ness, we're doing it. We're really upsetting him. <laughs> Alright, so you should only split into three, I believe. Three for two friends? Oh, no, still two. I think it's three for three friends. Ow. Rolling along. You're steel type. I'm fire. <laughs> I don't think Rock's gonna get steel type. Maybe I'm wrong in that. Future me. I'm not a big Pokemon aficionado. I just like some Pokemon. So I don't know if that is or not. And probably not worth looking up. But unless you're curious. Got nothing else better to do while you're editing this. I gotta figure out if Rock's gonna get steel. So here's Pon and Con. In their proper spot. Weird. But oh well. Hey Pon and Con, remember me? Remember me? I'm Rick and Koo and Kine. <laughs> shush, shush, shush. Yeah, that stone is actually really dang good. But, yep. Ta da! Fish a flopple! <laughs> Alright, well, there goes Con again. Hello, Pawn. I have that too. Bye bye. Oh, come here, Pawn. Come here. Come here, man. Uh, that might not be good. Uh, it all worked out. Good job, Ness. We did it. High five. High five. High five. Come on. High five. Low five. <laughs> Wow, Ness, we only have two more bosses, but three maximum tomatoes. Are you hungry? I'm not. I'm making fun of it, but obviously if you're not, if this game is definitely, I would say, a quintessential Kirby game, as it really tries to be more uh, in tune with the Kirby philosophy of a game that can really be played by anyone and enjoyed by anyone. So I think just having that along, again, it really makes this nice and unique in which more people can enjoy this arena as opposed to in the previous games where you really kind of only enjoy the arena if you're a hardcore fan. And I think getting more fans of Kirby is always a good thing. Yeah, Nass will electrocute Crackle. If his name isn't Crackle, it's Cracko, but we know, whatever. Uh, okay. I screwed up, Nest. Save me, Nest. Save me. Call your dad. Wait, wrong nest. <laughs> yeah, you didn't like when I said that. Okay, come on. Low five. Low five. Low five. Alright, so. Hey, look, we got a pep brew. Hey, nest, you want to just binge on these tomatoes? Let's just binge on them. Alright. So, we're only going to fight Francesca, apparently, in this difficulty, which is kind of silly, but alright. She will be the next boss. And just to check, anything unique here? Nope. Boop, doop, doop. <laughs> Stone beats ice, right? <laughs> Fire beats ice? Not sure about wind, which is not an element in Pokemon, actually. <laughs> I guess flying, technically, but whatever. Yeah, so one thing you should keep in mind is you can also get healed from Francesca's boss fight itself. If you burn her ice that she rains down, it can sometimes yield food, which is very helpful. Keep this in mind for future difficulties. It will be imperative that you do. I mean, unless you're really good at dodging stuff, which I am as admittedly not, so. 
We did it, Nesp. We saved the day. I don't know what we saved it from, but we saved it. <laughs> I can't believe it! I'm part of the Animal Trio! I got... Wait, 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 wait. I have three puzzles? Oh boy! Okay, well that's gonna be fun. I sense a journey we need to go on to get the rest of those pieces, but not right now. For right now, we're gonna go and choose another difficulty. I think we're gonna choose another. Stay of Kirby though. Give him a give him a nice ability. Uh, you know what? I'm feeling uh, I'm feeling fighter. Yeah, you know what? We're we're getting tense. We're getting we're getting into this. We get we're getting fighting fit. Let's bring along some other fighters with us then, huh? Uh, other fighters. Uh, Beatley. No, I don't like Beatley in that color. Knuckle Joe and Beatley. There we go. There we go. There's some fierce fighters right there. And we're gonna go to level four, spicy adventure. Just one more boss again, but hey, more puzzle pieces. Let's see how it goes. All right, team, we got this. There's only three pep brews this time and only three maximum tomatoes, but it's fine. It's fine. We got this. No problemo. First, we're gonna start with a Shoryuken. I mean, it's not what it's called, but that's what it's obviously based off of. <laughs> I took a hit already. I did, team. I proved that I'm incompetent. But I kind of already knew that. Yeah, thank you for the guard button. That's another hit. It's fine. It's fine, team. Only got seven bosses to go. I can take it. Especially if the next thing is a mini boss. Uh, yep, it's mini boss time. Got a puzzle piece, and it's time for some mini bosses. Looks like we're gonna have Mr. Frosty and Bunkers. I can tell his silhouettes. I forget, I think this is just a mini-boss theme that played in, uh, in Return to Dreamland. I think it was specifically for the Mecha DDD fight, the that mini-game, the Shot Scope, I think it was called. Mr. Frosty, would you would you like a Hadouken? There we go, bye-bye. We're done here. We did it, team. We saved the castle from its visitors who were nicely invited over. Maybe we shouldn't have done that. Also, look, only six more, six healing items. Pep brew! Who wants a can of pep? Here we go, and indeed he's a brawler as well. We're gonna do what we're gonna do is all out brawl. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Ready? Here we go. Uh, uh, uh. Bam! We don't need to see that every single time. <laughs> nope. Nope. I have invincibility frames. Come on, team. Come on. We can do it. We go oh, almost, team. We almost got him before he did this. We can get him before he gets to phase three, though, for sure. Come on. There we go. <laughs> shush, 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 shush. Woo! So the other thing, too, is that while your teammate's health is important during this, if you're playing with computer players, it doesn't matter. You can let them basically get offed, because you can always revive them. Additionally, if you do play as multiplayer, it's very helpful, because it doesn't count if player one just dies, it counts if both human players die. So as long as one of you can revive the other, you can still win. So essentially, playing solo with one character is the hardest way to make this uh, super difficult, which as we saw on the, on the last episode, when I tried to do it with just a regular Kirby no ability, yep. It definitely was a bit more difficult. <laughs> bye bye, Vivagria. Hey, Bugsy. 
I am probably wrong in this, but I also feel that if you choose an ability of Kirby, the game is more prone to let you stick with that ability than to do the usual cycle of if you take enough hits, you'll eventually drop it. I think I'm wrong on that, but that sounds about right. Also, hey, only four more. We have five healing items. You want some pep? You want a pep? I don't need it, but you guys wanted one, so I gave you it. <laughs> hey, Mad Knight. How's it going? Would you like to see a big fire blast in your face? Because I do. <laughs> Kick around and then uh, here he comes. There we go, there's the three. <laughs> I do like that you can grab the stars with fighter ability as well and throw them to do some more damage. It does kind of make Suplex a bit of a worthless ability in a, in a way. I mean, Suplex has more ways to throw it, but it is kind of odd to have that because both. Uh, Beetle and Fighter can throw stuff. It kind of makes you wonder why Suplex is still around, other than the fact that it looks cool. And I mean, I'm not gonna... Uh, I'm not gonna get mad at for that. Stuff that looks cool is usually pretty cool. Unless it's Mad Knight. <laughs> I know, I'm always mean to him, but again... Last episode I talked about Amazing Mirror. Um, yeah, I have some pent-up rage at that game at the moment. I don't hate it or anything, but Med Knight is a key factor in that game, so Med Knight's getting back on my dumb list again. <laughs> oh. Also, the time when he was destroying all the platforms when we were doing the uh, Guest Star Allies stuff, that was kind of bad. Where's Khan? Pawn, I want Khan. I don't want Pawn, I want Khan. I'll take both. I missed both of them. There we go. Woo! Good job, team. We opened the gate. We're not going to go through it, though. Alright, so Krakow's up next. Interesting. You guys want Maximum Tomato? I don't think so. Let's binge him later. Sup, Cracko? How's it going? <laughs> I'm gonna kick you everywhere. Just, you know, just kick, kick, kick. Yep. <laughs> that was really cool, the little shot there I got. With, uh... With the lightning reflecting on Kirby as he's doing the kick. Super cool and super adorable. Oh, nope. Stay out of that. Knuckle Joe, you need to stay out of that. You fool. I made the same mistake, but I recovered from it. Somehow. <laughs> just, just stay there. Just stay there. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Alright, you guys want to go binge with Maximum Tomatoes now? If I say Maximum really fast, it'll sound like I said Maxim, which is the correct name. Oh, look, we got a pet brew. We don't need those Maxim Tomatoes after all. We'll save some. We'll save some for later after our after party. So we fought Francisca in the last difficulty, so now we're only going to fight Flamberge? Weird. Alright, hey Flamberge, what up? <laughs> Just stay right there. Just stay right there. <laughs> This works. Uh-oh. I'm about to get shiskabobbed. Don't get shiskabobbed. I said don't get shiskabobbed. What did you do? You got shiskabobbed. There. Don't worry. I saved you. I saved you with my uppercut. We did it, team. We made it through some stuff. And everyone's happy about it. So it all works out. Let's get our puzzle pieces. Okay, they're all for that one. Great. All right. I'll need a lot more than the ones I'm getting so far. <laughs> Alrighty, right. Well, that's two more difficulties down in the books for ultimate choice. 
We still have a few more to go, so I'll see you on the next episode for when we go and do that. If you like this video, please consider hitting that like button below. If you want to see more content from me, please consider subscribing. Kirby Star Allies is available on Nintendo Switch. Please pick it up, it's a fantastic game, and you can do all these fun modes here too. I think this would be kind of a good one to like pass the controller to like a friend or younger sibling, and kind of really get them into the groove of how you do some fierce combat in the Kirby series. Otherwise, please have a wonderfully great day, and I will see you all on the next one. Until then, ciao.